andrewggibson.com. The flame that kindled humanity, unraveling fire's role in human evolution. In the tableau of human history, there are few symbols more ubiquitous or profound than that of fire. It has warmed our homes, cooked our meals, and lit our path through the darkest nights. Yet, the significance of fire extends far beyond these seemingly mundane roles. Fire, in essence, has been a crucible of human evolution, a powerful tool that has indelibly shaped our species and set us apart from our hominid ancestors. The Culinary Revolution, How Fire Unlocked Nutritional Potential Humanity's mastery over fire marked the beginning of a culinary revolution, one that has arguably made us who we are today. Cooking, the application of heat to food, changed our ancestors' diets dramatically. Fire acted as a kind of external stomach, pre-digesting food and breaking down complex proteins and carbohydrates, thus making it easier for our bodies to absorb the nutrients. This phenomenon is aptly demonstrated in Richard Wrangham's Catching Fire, How Cooking Made Us Human, where he argues that cooked food provides significantly more energy than raw food. This freed up the energy that was previously needed for digestion, ultimately contributing to the growth of our energy-demanding brains. Moreover, cooked food tends to be softer, requiring less powerful jaws and smaller teeth, features that differentiate us from our primate relatives and highlight the biological implications of our culinary habits. The Hearth's Hearth, Fire and the Dawn of Communal Living Fire did more than revolutionize our diet, it sparked the dawn of communal living. The hearth became a gathering spot, the original social network where our ancestors shared meals, tales, and knowledge. This is not merely speculation, anthropological evidence suggests that the regular use of fire coincided with a decline in our ancestors' solitary habits and a rise in socialization. Edward O. Wilson, a renowned sociobiologist, has theorized that campfires were central to the epigenetic rules behavioral tendencies shaped by evolution, that guided the social development of early humans. Seated around a fire, we were not just Homo erectus or Homo habilis, we were becoming Homo norans, the storytelling human. In the fire-lit darkness, we spun the first threads of narrative, culture, and perhaps even spirituality, forming the foundations of human societies as we know them today. The Great Protector, Fire as a Shield Against the Harsh World While fire's role as a social catalyst is indeed profound, its most primal contribution was arguably its protection against the unforgiving chill of the ice ages. Fire was the original central heating system, enabling our ancestors to survive, and eventually thrive, in a range of climates that would have otherwise been inhospitable. Moreover, the flickering flames offered security against the terrors of the night. Ethologist and evolutionary biologist, Robert Ardrey, poetically describes this phenomenon in The Hunting Hypothesis, fire's protection was twofold, against the teeth of carnivores in the dark, and against the greater enemy of cold. Fire acted as a potent deterrent to predators, providing an invisible shield that offered our vulnerable ancestors a much-needed line of defense. Igniting Innovation, Fire and the Evolution of Tools Fire was not just a shield, but also a potent tool, contributing to a fundamental aspect of what makes us human, our ability to create and utilize complex tools. Our ancestors used fire to harden wooden spears, making them more effective for hunting, and to craft a diverse array of stone tools through a process called thermal alteration. This is evidenced by archaeological sites such as the Swartkran site in South Africa, where fire-hardened wooden implements dating back almost a million years have been unearthed. The crafting and refinement of tools, facilitated by fire, likely accelerated our cognitive development, further underlining fire's pivotal role in our evolution. Illuminating the darkness, fire and the transformation of time. Finally, the mastery of fire granted us dominion over a realm previously beyond our control, nighttime. Prior to the advent of fire, darkness would have significantly curtailed our ancestors' activities. Fire pushed back these hours of darkness, allowing for extended periods of productivity and social interaction. In at days close, night in times past, historian A. Roger Eckert suggests that control over artificial light significantly altered early human behavior. 
fire allowed for the establishment of a first sleep and second sleep with periods of activity in between, influencing our relationship with the natural world and paving the way for future societal developments like the division of labor. As we weave together these threads of evidence from the tapestry of our past, it becomes abundantly clear that fire has been a transformative force in human evolution. From nutrition to toolmaking, from socialization to protection, fire has been the silent partner, illuminating our path towards the species we are today. So, the next time you find yourself sitting by a campfire, lost in its mesmerizing dance, remember, you're not just watching the flickering flames of a simple chemical reaction. You're gazing into the heart of what made us human. You're witnessing the echo of the flame that kindled humanity.